Welcome, another Monday, another video. You are here probably because you wanted to buy one of these the MX Creative Console by Logitech. Let me tell you what this video is gonna be and what is not gonna be. It's not gonna be in-depth detailed video about the device because I'm sure you already saw a bunch of other videos like that and it's not gonna be that I'm gonna be convincing you to buy it and it's like reinventing the wheel because it really doesn't, but it is useful. I'm gonna tell you pretty much how 97% of creators is gonna use this and why is it worth it to buy it. It's gonna end up costing you $20. So let's just get into it. So as the name itself says, it's Creative Console by Logitech. It's $200, it comes in, and I'm gonna say this like exactly how it says on their website, pale gray and graphite colors. I got the darker option, as you guys can see, because it matches with my table. You can go with any. Prices is the same. So it comes with these two consoles and uh, stand for one of these. So one is connected by USB-C from your computer and the other one is operated by the batteries and batteries come in the pack so you don't have to worry about that. Unboxing and installing is pretty straightforward, pretty simple, it took me maybe 10 minutes. And chances are if you're buying this, you already have one of the something from Logitech. I have the mouse, you probably either have the mouse or you have the keyboard. So if you do have those, you know how customizable they are and I'm sure you have the Logi Option Plus which serves as a hub to install and customize all these things. So let's just go into what it actually does and uh, how you can customize it and make it work for you. The more customization it does go with the buttons and it's pretty much limitless. You can customize colors, you can put the photos in the buttons, you can name the buttons, there's crazy options. Chances are you're not gonna do it and you're gonna, maybe you will if you have time and if you wanna mess around with that. Now let me tell you how I use it with the programs that I actually use. But as far as Mac goes, I mostly use it for screenshots and for system volume. And each page can be customized. Uh, my first page is just like some simple system options and my second page is all the apps that I use that I can just open with a press of a button. I can do that with a mouse but this just looks prettier. And the other thing here I use for volume control. So if I do this, the volume goes up. Again, I can do this with my keyboard but it just looks nice. Now how I use it in a live room. Every module in live room has different settings. If you're library you can set up one thing, if you're in develop you can set another, another thing. What I put here and you will see it probably with a b-roll, copy developer settings, paste so if you have the same photo and you want to do the same settings you don't have to do three buttons on a keyboard you can just press the button, press the button, done. So it saves a little bit of time. My most 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 used buttons is the export and it's open in Photoshop. When I press open in Photoshop, it just transfers the photo there. I don't have to do a right click. Pretty much lowers it for one or two clicks, but it, it is useful. Export, especially when you finish the photos, you press export, done. Let me tell you what it does in Photoshop, my favorite things. And honestly, this other thing I use way more in Photoshop and it's very, very useful. Let me tell you how. The round wheel adjusts the brush size. So I don't have to press bunch of buttons or maybe use a scroll. Pretty much you can just adjust it. So that's where it actually comes in handy. Now let's go to Premiere Pro. So as far as Premiere Pro, let's go through this little thing first. So you can use the scroll to go through the footage. And as you guys can see, it goes pretty smoothly. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Depends if I wanna go straight through the footage. And you can set up upper two buttons for cut and paste. And as you guys can see here, I customize it with the green. So I just save it every single second. Just press that button, it saves. Press that button, it saves. I can also do the adjustment layer if I want to. My most used thing, honestly, is the save and it's the speed duration. So when I press speed, it goes straight to the speed, which I use a lot. So you don't have to do right click, go into it, change it. So it's perfect for multiple steps that you can just put into the option there. So yeah, I hope you guys don't get overwhelmed when you get this. Again, make it work for you. Why would you buy this? Because you can technically customize all the buttons and the mouse and just use that. It is $20 and how is it $20? It comes with a three month Adobe Creative Suite, which costs $180 if you're using Adobe. You're gonna pay that money anyways. So you might as well get this. It's a gadget that will help in some ways. It looks cool. Sometimes you just wanna look cool and why not? It's a good accessory, good gadget for $20. You, it, it's literally a no brainer, I would say. Hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, I know it wasn't super detailed. Uh, I was just 
telling it how it is and how I use it, you can use it in way better. Share, like, subscribe if you want. Every Monday, we're gonna do a video in 2025 and peace out until the next one.